With PlayStation 5 pre-order stock ran out in just few minutes and no restocks coming till Feb release and confirmed orders getting already cancelled by Reliance Digital which has left many core gamers in the country in the pit of dust. So we thought to bring some key information behind this problem and our solutions to avoid this problem in future. We have divided this video into three segments which addresses the problem of the pre-orders debacle, retailers and consumers perspective on the problem and our solutions to overcome the problem. Many gamers in India were not able to pre-order a PS5 on January 12th and some who have managed to secure one got their order cancelled on the very next day. Retailers are blaming Sony for sending very limited stocks to India which made them to take mostly online pre-orders which led to this debacle. With limited stock, poor servers of the retailers confirmed orders getting cancelled, PlayStation fans across India felt frustrated and betrayed by Sony and retailers. But retailers on the other hand are getting very limited stock which can't be shipped to their outlets which are spread across the region. They had to take all the pre-orders online otherwise they would have been left with a huge bill of transportation costs and an angry mob of customers at their outlets for not meeting even less than 1% of the demand. As turning your fans into one frustrated angry crowd is one last thing to do for any company to keep all the hype for its upcoming products, we are here to pass some suggestions to make this pre-order far more smoother. Sony has to either consider Indian market seriously and release PS5 along with other countries or ship ample amount of stock to at least meet half of the demand in the region, even if it needs to push the pre-order day 3 months away from the global launch. If the pre-orders are to be entirely online, then every retailer should be conducting pre-order slot booking event few days before the actual pre-order starts, so that the number of people who get the pre-booking slot will match with the stock numbers, avoiding any unnecessary booking and server issues. Retailers can also start employing online queue system on first come first served basis by limiting each individual to purchase one unit after capture verification and unique IP address verification. As gaming is getting transformed from just a hobby to a stress breaker, enlightening and blood pumping energizer for many people, if Sony or the retailers start to go by this road, then we may never have to see these problems again in the coming years. At Game Insight India, we always thrive to explore, enrich and entertain you by doing many videos on gaming industry. So don't forget to do the obvious thing to see us again which is to subscribe our channel and leave your thoughts below this video. Having said that, do have a nice day everyone.